In this video, I wanna talk about how I can help you to stretch your hamstrings without them hurting so that you can get a beneficial stretch into those hamstrings. So make sure you stay tuned. Thanks for checking out the channel. My name's John. I'm the head therapist here at John W Sports Injury. If you're new to our channel, we wanna be doing three simple things. We wanna help you to understand your body, get rid of pain so that you can get back to achieving your sport, exercise and wellness goals. So if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that subscribe button and the bell notification and we will keep you updated. And if you find that this video is of value at any point, don't be afraid to smash that like button so others can find out how we can be making sure that you stretch your hamstrings beneficially. So what a lot of people say to me in clinic is that I don't like doing hamstring stretching because it really hurts and almost can make me feel a little bit sicky. Well, there is some reason behind that and I really quickly want to explain a little bit of an anatomy around the hamstrings using an elastic band. Now one of the things about our hamstring muscles is we call them biarticular and what that means is that they actually cross two joints so a lot of our muscles cross a joint that they act upon but the hamstrings actually cross both the hip joint and the knee joint so they act upon both those joints. So we use this when we're stretching our hamstrings to get really good stretches but ultimately pulling from both ends of the elastic band. So you can see that if we want a good stretch from the elastic band, we can pull from both ends. But that does mean that it can quite quickly dive into a dramatic stretch. So what I'm going to show you shortly is what we can actually do is stretch from one end of the band and then slowly increase the stretch on the other end to still achieve a good stretch, but a more tolerable level. So let me dive onto the bed and show you exactly what I mean by this. So... When we're stretching our, our hamstrings, classic stretches will be things like just lifting our leg straight up. Now, what's happening here is that what we're actually looking to do is to stretch the hamstrings from the knee and then ramp it up from a hip flexion point of view. So we're getting that two point uh, stretch there. Or another thing that people like to do is to say, place a straight leg out onto something like a table or a bed. Now again, what we're getting here is because this knee is straight, our hamstrings flex our legs here, so we stretch that out, so that's pulling from the one end of the elastic band, and then what we do from our hip point of view, because the hamstrings extend our hip um, and pull it backwards, is we then flex that hip forward. So that's getting into this double stretch here. And what a lot of people say to me is, I feel that in the back of my knee, really pulling away, but not much into the um, hamstrings hamstring itself. And again, this is pretty typical because that's telling us that we might be tight at what we call the distal end of the hamstrings. So what I'm going to talk about now is how that we can stretch so it's more comfortable for your hamstrings, you can increase the tolerance and you can hit that stretch higher up into the hamstrings. Make sure you hang around because at the end of this video, I'm also going to show you another video where I talk about how we can stretch each of the three hamstrings in isolation. So how are we going to make you stretch your hamstrings? more comfortably. Well, what you need is a surface that you can put your foot up onto. And in some ways, the lower, the better. If we can get that knee joint to be lower than the hip joint, you'll find a better stretch. But when we get into this point, the crucial thing that we've done here is that we've got this leg bent. So we're not pulling from one end of the stretch, from one end of the band. Then from this position, what we can look to do is start to tip those hips forwards. So this is where we're just now stretching from one end. We've taken this end off stretch and then we start to ratchet up the hip flexion here. So as we get into that hip flexion, you'll start to feel those hamstring stretch. This bed's probably a little bit high for me. If you've got a lower object, that would be better. But I definitely now feel that hamstring right at the top into the belly. So again, if you're someone who's suffering with something like a high hamstring sprain, this might be something that we're looking to achieve as well as a good stretch for you. Now, when you get into that position and you start to feel that stretch, hold that for about 30 seconds. Start to get a decent stretch in a more comfortable level. Then you can slowly start to take that knee a little bit straighter. So that's when we start, we've pulled at one end and now we're slowly increasing. So rather than just diving straight into this, what we're looking to do is ratchet up one end and then slowly increase it. And as time progresses, you can just straighten that leg. And you might find that then over time, you can get into that more classic hamstring stretch where we've got both ends of the muscle on stretch, 
but it's more comfortable. So again, if you're somebody who's suffering with hamstring uh, tightness, you find that stretching is just too uncomfortable, find yourself a step or an object, place your foot on top of it, and then slowly start to almost sit backwards, like you're trying to sit on something behind you as you flex those hips forwards, and then you'll start to feel the stretch. If you can't find it straight away, start to move the foot further away from you and repeat the same process. Soon you'll feel that stretching, and that's a way that you can be stretching out your hamstrings more comfortably, and you can slowly start to increase how much you're doing that. So rather than diving straight into the deep end, we're gonna go in at a more shallow level and make our way down towards that deeper end. I hope that makes sense. If it's been helpful for you, and actually for the first time you're finding that you can stretch your hamstrings more comfortably, hit that like button, because that's gonna help others to see this tip and technique all around stretching the hamstrings. And if you haven't subscribed, make sure you're hitting that subscribe button because then I will be updating you on our next video. And as I said, we have three hamstring muscles. So check out this video where I'm talking about how you can stretch your hamstrings to hit all three of those muscles. But remember what we've talked about today. See you on the next video.